Here's a quick tip. If you're working with animations, then there's an amazing tool in Chrome DevTools that help you debug and understand animations. Let's take a look. So I've built this JavaScript learning tool over here and I have a sidebar where you click on it, it opens a sidebar and if you click again, it just closes it. And let's say I did not build this and I want to understand how this animation works or I want to debug it, understand why something is broken. I could just press Command Shift B in Chrome DevTools and type in animations. Alternatively, you could just press in escape and this will bring up the console and click on the overflow menu and click animations. So now let me make this bigger and let's just reload the page. So we start from scratch, clear all of the animations. Okay, now I will click on this basic functions and this will open the sidebar. And if I close it again, you will see this animation is for the opening and this one is for the closing. So the first feature is that you could actually replay animations and that's very handy. But most animations are quite fast. They happen in 200 milliseconds or 250 milliseconds. So you don't have a lot of time to understand what's going on. This is why I find the next feature handy. So you could just click on the 25% or 10% and this will slow down the animation. And now if I click on the sidebar, it will actually be slowed down. And that's great because I'll have time to understand what's going on. The third feature is that you can actually modify this transition. So you see, this is changing the transform and it's changing the opacity. So what if I want the opacity to be much faster, but I also want to slow down the transform. And now I set it back to 100% and let's close, reopen, and that will be the new animation. It's a little bit tough to see, so I'll slow it down. Now, when I open it, the opacity will finish the transition first while the transform will take more time. Let's take a look. Yeah, so you could play around with these until you find something that makes sense. And finally, the last feature, you could inspect the CSS for it. So if you click on the sidebar, you will see which element is being transitioned. And you take a look at the code here. This is the transform where it's changing the translate X. That's it for this week's quick tip. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next week.